And without question tonight, the toll from this crash of Flight 214 would have been much higher if it hadn't been for those heroic flight attendants, as well as the first responders and other passengers who were helping people get off the plane before they would get off themselves. But more than half of those on board were injured, and some of them critically fighting for their lives tonight. And ABC Cecilia Vega is right here with me in San Francisco tonight. Many of the passengers on board Flight 214 never thought they would make it out alive. I feel lucky because um, we totally have six family members traveled on this plane and uh, we all are safe. Mm. So I feel lucky. Among her family members still in the hospital, her four year old son with a broken leg. For some, surviving was nothing short. Nightmare is only now unfolding. Of the 51 people who remain hospitalized, eight cling to life, them a child. Horrific. Doctors at San Francisco General Hospital are working around the clock to save them. Many passengers are still unconscious. Dr. Margaret Knudsen is chief of surgery and head of the trauma team. She says the crash injuries look like what she saw in the war zones of Iraq. They were dragged by the airplane? We don't know for sure. We're just saying that they had the type of rash that we see if somebody were to take a body and, and pull it across the cement. So I don't know where these pe people were when this happened. Aviation experts say the Boeing 777 may have slammed into the runway at 150 miles per hour. The impact so hard it snapped passengers' spines. At least two are paralyzed. This picture tweeted by NTSB investigators shows a mangled and crushed plane interior. One of the patients told you that she saw the row in front of her actually collapse? Collapse on top of her. What does that tell you about the impact? Um, well, obviously it was a huge impact, right, for a, a plane to crash, but it, it broke her sternum and she's a young person. We figured that it must have been the seat that did that. In fact, one of our patients actually has seat marks that you can kind of see where the indentation was. The passengers sitting in the back of the plane were hurt the worst. Among them, the two 16-year-old Chinese girls who died. Back in China, their heartbroken parents, comforted by other parents of children also on Flight 214. The kids were on their way to spend the summer at a Los Angeles area Christian camp to learn English. Today, members of that church coming together for a special service. Also sending prayers to everyone still fighting for survival tonight. Incredible stories emerging from those hospitals. Cecilia with me now. You were talking about those a spinal injuries, so concerning, but doctors telling you they were stunned at the number of people who survived this. Yeah, given the amount of people who were on that plane, 307, just 50 today in the hospital. Really, that's pretty remarkable. But this doctor that we interviewed today, David, she says, yes, it's amazing so many survived, but the road, the road to recovery is going to be so long and so difficult. People who have already had surgeries will be back in the operating room again for more surgeries. I said outright, of these people who are so critical right now, do you think they'll make it? And this doctor said, I hope so.